so excited. Alright, so hopefully this is going to be the last and final day that we're turning our garage into this and uh, we're going to be painting Ashlyn's fairings on her bike. We're going to be using House of Colors uh, neon pink paint. Uh, we got all of the primered plastic sanded down with 600 according to their um, manufacturer's recommendations. And so yeah, we're just going to get into spraying the base coat and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Today is Ashlyn's R3 build. I'm super stoked. She has tons of upgrades. Um, we're going to start off by doing an oil change and then we're going to move on to putting the new set of crash protection on. But she's got lots of stuff for this bike. We have new tires, 160-50ZR17 in the rear. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We got new levers, new exhaust, new chain. Um, she also got a brand new set of fairings which we already painted and assembled. So those are going to be going on today. Um, but yeah, let's start with the oil change and move on.
All right, so it's time to do the headlights. Uh, we got a brand new set. If you guys saw the first video on Ashlyn's bike, um, we kind of mentioned it in there that there was uh, some broken clips. Um, three of the main mounting points on the back were broken, so we kind of were forced to buy a new one. But, so we got the new set for the headlights, and then also, we're gonna be adding some LED bolts to it. Oh, I could handle what I'm doing. So yeah, we're just gonna be putting some LED bulbs in. And then also too, for the center light up here at the top, she uh, wanted to go with the pink LED dome light, so we're gonna be putting that in as well. These are the off-the-shelf carbon fiber versions, but you can get these in a crazy amount of different colors. So um, just go on Core's website and you'll be able to get whatever probably you want. So we got like everything done. The whole bikes together, the plastics, not the levers. We're gonna do the levers here in a minute, but we got the center crash protection on. We're about to swap out the rest of the crash protection. But you see how this piece doesn't match? Hopefully you can see it on camera, but this is so much darker that it just throws it off. So I took the old piece and we painted that. So now that's more pink. So it should look like the bike flows a lot better. We're gonna swap this on and then do the crash protection probably. Move on to the levers. some Wumatec shorty levers but as you can tell it comes with a red adjuster that's not cool so we opted to get the black ones so we're gonna start off by switching out the black adjusters on the levers and then we'll put them on the bike <laughs> to the point where the bike is almost done all we're doing now is bleeding the brakes we're going to take the purple vinyl stickers off the wheels um but we actually have to take the the bike back to the other garage because we do not have a compressor here and so um we're not going to be able to seat the beads on the tires so yeah just want to say that real quick <laughs>
so we just got the rear tire mounted don't let any youtube video fool you it is not as easy as it looks i know we were stepping up to a 160 from a 140 but geez so but i wanted to show you we got it on and this is the old tire so you can see it's definitely a little bit wider this is the old sprocket it's a 43 tooth and it's steel so it's kind of heavy new one tst aluminum one and it's a 45 tooth so we should get a lot more low end um yeah it's aluminum so it might wear out a little faster but i got i got a lot of confidence in this one you just want to know where the heavy spot of your tire is so you see how it rolls back so you know that wherever it settles on the bottom you know that this is going to be a heavy spot so you want to stick a weight up top until your wheel basically doesn't rock back and forth and that's basically the most simple way you can um, balance a motorcycle tire i mean there's other ways obviously but this is a very simple easy one Alright, so we're on day two of doing the tires. We got the rear one completely done. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle, but we got through it. Um, it's a really cold and gloomy day here, um, and we still want to do the front, so we built a box. We built a little heater box with our heat gun so that we can get our tires as warm as possible and make it a little more pliable. We're going to start taking the front off. Oh, also, did you show them this? Check this out. So unless you have some fancy fucking lift, this is how we did it. that's gonna wrap up Ashland's R3 build thank you all for watching um, I know that the bike content kind of gets lost and everything the channel's called stupid subies we want to stick with that um, the bikes are at a good point now to where we can ride them all summer and have a lot of fun with them um, so we're gonna stick to working on the RS and the STI those are gonna be the main focus of all the videos from here on out um, like comment subscribe one more thing too, stay tuned for next video. We're doing some pretty uh, crazy stuff with the RS. Um, there's some parts you can't get for that car that we ended up making. So be sure to check that out. Um, I'm, I'm really stoked for it.